Hi, my name is Ilma. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've been posting uh, video Christian blogs for nine years straight every day. And today I'd like to share 1 Timothy 5 verses 1 to 8. Here's the word of God. Do not sharply rebuke an older man, but rather appeal to him as a father and to the younger men as brothers, to the older women as mothers, and to the younger women as sisters in all purity. Honor widows who are actually widows, but if any widow has children or grandchildren, they must first learn to show proper respect for their own family and to give back compensation to their parents, for this is acceptable in the sight of God. Now, she who is actually a widow and has been left alone has set her hope on God. And she continues in requests and prayers night and day. But she who indulges herself in luxury is dead, even while she lives. Give these instructions as well so that they may be above reproach. But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Here's my devotional on rebuking and providing for family. In this letter of Paul to Timothy, he gives the believers guidelines how to rebuke in love. The word rebuke in Hebrew has three different words. Ga'ar, meaning to chide or reprimand. Ge'ara, chiding or rebuke. And cherpa, contumely or disgrace. As a member of the body of Christ, each believer is expected to care for one another. When one loves one another, they do not want their brothers or sisters in Christ to fall away from the faith. It is important to correct or rebuke if one of the members of the body is sinning. Paul gives them a guideline how to rebuke. To an older man, it must be in the form of a plea or a petition. To rebuke a younger man, it must be done like you would to a brother. To an older woman, it must be like you would to your own mother, respectful. And to the younger woman, as if they were your sister in purity. According to Susan E. Hyland, a professor of New Testament, comments on widows and said that the notion uh, said that the notion that widows needed someone to take care of them rests on ideas about the legal and social status of women in that time. A wife was dependent on her husband, and when, she di when he died, she went to live with her father's household if he was alive, or to an adult son if she had one. Having a father or son was fortunate, because otherwise widows were entirely without resources. Widows were also legally subordinate to this male relatives. Paul instructs Timothy to make sure that the widows are taken care of, especially by her family members. In verse 8, Paul says that if one doesn't provide for his own household, he has turned back on his faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Here's my reflection. Why is rebuking another believer really important for the body of Christ? Okay, if you're a parent, you would understand this because you love your children. You don't want your children to be in danger of anything, physical, um, spiritual, emotional, mental. You don't want them to go way, way out of bounds so that they will be so lost. So in the same way, the body of Christ is a family of believers. So if you are a believer, and you belong to a body of Christ or a church, then you would love to care for your brother or sister. So if you know that your brother or sister is doing something that is a sin, that is against the, commandment, the commands of God, you should have that love and care to address that. Because a lot of problems in the churches is that nobody addresses the sin of each other anymore so no one is accountable to each other no one is living 
uh, for Christ anymore. Most of the time, we mind our own business, which is true because the Bible says that too in a way. In one of the verses it says, mind your own business and be quiet, and live quietly. But it doesn't mean that if you are in the family of believers and you see somebody sinning, wouldn't you? Isn't it just right? Because if you are a true believer, to do something about someone who is falling out of, of their faith. So that's why rebuking is very important because if you don't rebuke, we are all given to each other so that we, we, we could equip each, each other <clears throat> with the gifts that was given to us because that is what the gifts are for. They are not for us to keep, they are for us to equip each other so we can edify each other and we can bring glory to God. So I encourage you, <clears throat> Don't be afraid to rebuke, because but you need to rebuke in gentleness. As, and as Paul said, there are guidelines how to rebuke a certain um, person. So thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. And <clears throat> remember, check uh, God loves you so much, so provide for your own family if there's a need. Uh, that is uh, that that you're asked to to help. Thanks for watching.